I didn't make it up. Not to the No, 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 no. <sighs> Screen of all the reactive folks joke. Hi. I kid you not. I didn't make it up. Look. It says Ume Sushi. I mean, it's everywhere. So, a lot of maki. Some kind of poke, chicken karage, and then some wakame. Probably from JFC, one of those importers. So, mm -hmm. familiar taste, same color. It's called karage, but that's not really. Um, never had karage with kind of a butter like this, but it's deep fried, it's going to taste good. So, why not? It's gonna be soggy and soft because of the delivery, but well marinated. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. So, got some shota soy sauce, sachet wasabi. Why not? Can't expect too much, really. I have to say, this maki looks quite good. Quite good. I mean, I can see the individual rice grain, so that is a plus. That's a good sign. Although uramaki with sauce on top, I'm never, I was never a fan of that. Um, but hey, people do it, and I think they put some sauce on. It's really thick, <sighs> like a sweet teriyaki sauce on the sushi. No, 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 no. There, there's a few possibilities to that. Firstly, the fish itself just pale. Um, actually. That's possible. Once I was at this uh, seafood trade show um, in Brussels, and I actually saw a booklet of fish, fish food. You can choose what color you want the flesh to be, and you just feed them with the, well, specifically salmon, and you just feed it that color of um, palate. Pretty scary, but it's um, quite true. And the other possibility for, for pale salmon is maybe it's a bit washed. So come in contact with water a bit too much. Um, the other one probably frozen. Um, it doesn't doesn't smell like frozen to be to be honest. We'll see. Okay. Salmon okay, bit on the fishy side. I think it's probably had a bit of age on it. That uh, not the best salmon. You can taste it, a bit fishy. Um, the rice, a little bit sticky. The nori, thick, thick, thick nori. It's just quite chewy. I've tried it, not the key. Mm, I'm trying to decipher the rice. Not too bad. I was expecting worse. I was expecting like gooey or undercooked or um, well cooked, but then over pressed into the nori, etc. Everything was done just a little bit too much, but not over the top. So. It doesn't completely stick to your mouth. It doesn't inhibit the flavors. It's, it's not bad, actually, surprisingly. I can see why it's got like high score on, on global. It's the Spanish equivalent of Deliveroo. Tuna, yellowfin, for sure. It's not very good tuna. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, fishy, it's very fishy. I mean, this fish, it really explains why they want to put teriyaki sauce over the top. <sighs> mm -hmm. Ulamaki. Well, actually, it's more like a rainbow roll. It's got um, avocado, got salmon, got tuna laid over the top of salmon ulamaki. Mm -hmm. And sweetness from the teriyaki sauce just hides everything. It does make it a lot more edible now mm. let's try some poke i think this is how you meant to eat it just mix everything up actually i have good hope for this with the help of onion i think that the fishiness will get covered up and the mayonnaise will help loosen up the the rice this may not be bad i would like a bit more acidity on this though I feel they put more teriyaki sauce on top i think i think some acidity would help definitely like a lemon juice or vinaigrette or something maybe even like a kind of a ponzu sauce type of thing I'll struggle to finish this whole bowl. Mm. But I I get to taste the rice. 
on its own. It actually doesn't taste too bad. It's got right amount of water. Mm. Just a little bit mushy. So I suspect. I suspect. What happened was the, the rice cooker is probably not pressurized, so it doesn't quite have that texture of um, properly gelatinized rice or gelatinized starch. But I think a lot of the process they've done here is it's good. Um, they haven't over mixed the rice, so it's like sticky, sticky. Yeah, just problem with the equipment, I think. Yeah, cool. Right, that's that's my comment about this place. I hope you enjoyed the tasting, the first tasting in Barcelona today. See you next. Have a good day.